We are here again this morning. Morning Barbados. We are here again to stand up for freedom. Freedom of expression. Freedom of speech. We are here again because our ancestors fought and they died for our freedom. And we stand in solidarity today for freedom, people. We are here again because we want to educate Barbados about the cybercrime bill. It's too important for us to shut up. Somebody said to me, have you going out there again? <laughs> we out here again. Because the bill says, good morning. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. The bill says, sections 19 to 23, you know what the bill says? You see, you don't know, that's why we have to keep coming. It says that if you post something on social media that causes somebody to be harassed, feel harassed, or feel embarrassed, or feel humiliated, that you will be charged $70,000 or seven years in prison. Or both. Or both. And this affects all social media users. So for us, it's important, just like the lady in the car told me she didn't know anything about the bill, it's so important that we continue to speak on this bill. $70,000 or seven years in jail. If we make a comment that causes someone to feel embarrassed, to feel harassed, to feel insulted based on all their people. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? You know about the cyber crime here? Don't know? <laughs> you see a lot of people, they talk about the cyber crime, um, the bullying, right? And that's important. It's important that we have some kind of legislation that deals with that. All right? But now, when you come with these kind of draconian laws, do you all know that Black Raiders have one of the most draconian cyber crime bill in the entire world? Do you know that if the government goes ahead and passes this bill, that there's a chance that this government will stay in power for the rest of the history of Barbados because nobody can criticize this government? You criticize them and you're going to go to jail. Yeah, you criticize them and you go to jail and that is what our ancestors, yeah, no. that's what, that's how what our ancestors died for, you know. Our freedom of rights and freedom of expression, freedom. freedom of speech. So today, this is a march of freedom, people. Freedom that we can express ourselves, freedom of religion. Then we have a Muslim sister over there buying our, our, our fruits and vegetables. That's what we're known for in Barbados. There was a time back, um, I think it's 18, what, 1838, right, they, they, they passed the, the, this um, legislation against any kind of um, revolts here in Barbados, the Riot Prevention Act. And you know what the act said? That if you gather together, if they had more than 12 people gathered together, the police could shoot you. Did you all know about that? And that, that act that they enacted, the Riot Prevention Act, that's why they were able in 1937 to kill those 12 persons who revolted in that riot, in 1937 riots, in 1937 disturbances. And I tell you something, what they're trying to do with this cyber crime bill it's, it's very much the same thing. It's about subjugation. It's about repressing people. And that's why we are out here. We're not out here because we have nothing else to do. We are out here to say to Barbados, be careful. They're seeking to take our freedom. And that's why today this is a freedom march. We are fighting today, today against repression oppression, a culture of oppression. And Barbados, what you're banking on, 
is that we're not going to say anything about it. That we're not going to do anything about it. We're looking at a government that is saying to us that even if we post something on social media that is truth, even if it is truth, seven years, seven years, mommy, seven years in jail, or $70,000, that's what this caring government, this very caring government is seeking to do to Barbadians. A caring government. The most draconian bill, and they expect that we're gonna forget about it. They were planning to pass it in June, but because of all of the protest, they are, they're sitting down on it and waiting for us to stop talking. And Barbadians, we know that you're at work, mommy. We know you're at work. We know you can't join us. Because you're not here with us, it's not that you don't agree with us, but you have to work. With all the taxes and all the other things that, you know, we have to pay and the prices in the supermarket, we have to work. So we're out here for you. We're your voice out here. We are carrying the voice of the people today. And we are out here educating. And we are out here reminding. And we are out here saying we will continue to stand for freedom of speech and freedom of expression in Barbados. Today we are standing up. We are standing up.
thousand of us or thereabouts that live in this country. We are here again with a message. We are saying, Barbados, wake up. Wake up, Barbados. We're not going to hit you, mommy. <laughs> Take your time and cross the road. I know you're listening to us. Listen. We are here this morning because of the cyber crime bill. You ever hear of it? You ever hear of it? The cyber crime bill. Lawyer opposition, lift up your voices again after three. One, two, three, and tell them the cyber crime bill. One, two, three.